Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Colorado Tech Lions Dynasty. Coming off of our first win of season number two last episode, we now face Colorado for the first time in this series. I'm not sure they're the best team in Colorado, though. They got beat down in week one, 34 to 10 which will land them 0-1 to start the season. And now we look to build on that great win and another comeback win in this series as we look to get the ball once again to Mike Marone. He showed that he has reliable hands. We will see if he is showing up now in his junior season today on the road as we are in Boulder and James Wilkins, the true freshman, is back to receive the opening kickoff. He takes it back to the 25. Now, B.J. Johnson threw two touchdowns, zero interceptions in the first matchup, in the first game, I should say. We'll see if he can do it again today. First pass of the game is out to the right side and almost an interception and maybe a pick six on the first play. Dropped pick right there, second and ten. This is a handoff to the right side. Adrian Johnson loses one yard. Colorado was fired up after that play as that brings it to a third and eleven. At our own 25, throwing to the right side, looking for the freshman Flint Steele. It will be incomplete. So three and out here for the CTU offense. Here's a handoff to the right side to start out the drive. Jack Williams, who is their star running back, he picks up a gain of eight. Now Chad Jones is their starter at quarterback. He is kind of mobile. He pitches out to Cox this time on the option, and that one will get him a first down. It's going to be rule the pass for a gain of 20 yards. Is there across the 50 here for the first time today at the 40 yard line just about. Hand off to Robert Lindsay. They have two impact running backs. Robert Lindsay picks up a gain of nine yards. Second and inches now. Chad Jones throws to the left side incomplete. Overthrowing his receiver who was wide open on that play. Third and inches now as Chad Jones runs his receiver in motion. Back into the backfield. A little fake that time on the option, and nobody's home to stop Chad Jones. It's going to be a first and a little bit more off of the face mask penalty as they do get the call. They're now inside the 10. It's now a great opening drive for Colorado as now they're at about the 7. Play action fake, quick throw across the middle. That one's caught by Mike McCray. The true freshman, Smoke Wyatt, is there for the tackle. Third and goal, handoff, and that one is a stop. Tyler Ashley and Smoke Wyatt were both there on the stop. That's about a loss of three. Jamarcus Lexington had the initial penetration, and now it's a 3-0 game in Colorado's favor. So we start out the next drive with the quarterback run to the right side, and that one will get us a gain of six. Now we are playing with new sliders once again this year, and we do call ass coaches middle play every single time, no exceptions at all except that there's a cheese play. Here's a quick throw to the right side. Brian B.J. Johnson with the eight yard catch on that one. He picks up the first down. So here is B.J. Johnson under center this time. Great blocking to the right side and Adrian picks up a gain of five as that gets us to the 30, 43 yard line. Quick throw and B.J. Johnson is just off to start this game. 104 for only eight yards. Third and five now. We have five wide receivers. Out onto the field, Mike Marone is also out there as a tight end. Here's a throw to him, and that one is caught for a first down. Gain of 12. If Marone can show that he can get open versus these linebackers, he's going to be a problem this year. Draw play on the next play. This is Adrian Johnson. It's a gain of four. Still into the first quarter here, about two minutes to go. As now we get into a third and six. Johnson throws to a wide open Jackson. Jackson across the middle of the field. It's going to be a first down catch. But Jackson, Jackson loses ground on that one. And that brings us back to a fourth and two. Johnson under center this time. He moves to the left side. Can he get to the first down? He's going to try to beat the linebacker there. And he gets there. He puts the ball on the ground, but he gets out of bounds. It's a gain of three. This drive continues. Long drive now as here we are at about the 35. Play action fake throwing. And that one is caught by Marone. And I'm not sure that was even thrown to him. It looked like Jackson. Jackson was in the area. And it's going to be a nice catch by Marone as he goes up and gets it. 
Handoff on a first and 10. Adrian Johnson gets to about the four yard line, maybe the five. As now we get a couple of yards on second down, bringing it to a third and two. This is an option play, and that is a big time hit on B.J. Johnson. A loss of three. And we will have to settle for three on this drive. So now there's a three to three game now into the second quarter. Both teams playing good defense so far. Here is Johnson with a keeper up the middle. He breaks one tackle and gets tackled at about the, at, for about a seven yard game at about the 50 yard line now. Now another option, this time stopped in the backfield. Jamarcus Lexington comes up with the stop. Sure tackler at outside linebacker. And now we get another punt here, six and a half to go. Can we put together a nice drive here? Here is BJ keeping it on a option, triple option right there. I guess that wasn't a triple option. There's a normal read option, bringing it to a third and three. BJ rolls to the right side. He's gonna try to throw this one at the last second and it's going to be dropped. Jackson Jackson had that one in his hands. And another punt, both teams showing up on defense. So here are the Buffaloes now, back on offense. Here's a throw down the left side, and that one just out of the reach of his receiver. Chad Jones laid it up there, but the receiver couldn't get a foot down. 39, quick throw, and the pressure gets to him. Bo Rocky hits the quarterback. And what do you know, another punt. Both teams showing up on defense is now, they line up, they line up in the punt formation, but it looks like it's gonna be a fake. This time, Bryant's throws to the right side. It's a completion, but it's on the ground. That is gonna be a forced fumble by Tommy Ito. He comes up with the big time hit, and the special team ace comes up with the turnover. What a hit to jar that ball loose. We definitely needed that, because that would have been a disaster if they converted that play. So we take back over at our own 45. Here is BJ rolling to the right side. And he has to throw it at the last second. Looks like the cornerback came off of his band, but it's Mike Marone on the opposite side of that throw. Gain of eight. Play action fake. Throw into the right side. Cookie Rockman could not keep his feet. Gain of one. Third and one now. BJ takes off up the middle. He's got the first. He takes a hit, but he does hold on to the football. It's a gain of five. So three and a half minutes to go. It looks like our offense starting to click a little bit, but he goes down in the pocket. B.J. Johnson loses 11 yards, bringing it back for a third and 19. It looked like our pressure just, our offensive line just couldn't hold up the pressure. Is now third and 19. They rush three. The pressure's in there, though. Throwing deep across the middle. This one is going to be picked off. Archie has it at about the 20, and he falls down at the 30. And our offense has just been flat today. And we'll see if our defense can continue to play well. And now they have it at about the 45, two minutes to go. Short field for Colorado. Here is Jones throwing across the middle. Incomplete. Both defenses showing up. Third and 10 now. Two minutes, eight seconds to go here in the first half. Jones, it's a quarterback draw. He gets pushed back. He breaks another tackle and falls forward and picks up 10, but he's just short of the first down marker. And we will call the timeout as Colorado does punt that one away. They don't go for the fake this time. So here we are with about a minute and a half to go. B.J. Johnson needs to put together a nice drive here. Give us the at least a small lead in this one. As here we run a play at the left side. This one's Flint Steele. He's got it for a gain of 26. They sent the pressure. I'm not sure why it was in there right away, but it looked like maybe somebody missed an assignment. But it's a first down anyway. Here is Johnson now throwing to the right side. This one's caught by Buki Richardson who takes a huge hit. He gets lifted off his feet on that one for a gain of 10. They send pressure, quick throw. It's Adrian Shields who tries to pick up a block downfield and he does. It's gonna be a first down, it's a gain of nine. As now we're under a minute to go. Looks like it's an RPO, read option. This time Johnson keeps it and he takes it for a gain of five. 45 seconds and counting. We have still not called our second timeout yet. Mookie Richardson running in motion, throwing across the middle. It's going to be caught. It's Jack Solemn for the touchdown. He scored on the ground in game number one, scores through the air in game number two, and that's how we go into halftime. A just weird defensive game in the first half. 
It's only 10 to three. So here we go, second half action now underway. Chad Jones has been shut down on offense for this Colorado team. Here is a jet sweep to left side. This is McCray who has it, and he picks up about a gain of eight as he almost got up on that one and ran away. As now Colorado gets it to a second and two at about the 33, a little read option. Jones tries to get away from the scrum, but he is brought down but it looks like they're gonna call a face mask on the true freshman, James Wilkins. It's gonna be a first down, as now they get a free 15. They're at about the 47 now. Here is a read option once again. Jones gets hit hard, it's on the ground. Picked up by CTU. The first turnover of the game forced by CTU is gonna come by hands. By the way, of Bernard Benjamin. What a hit he just put on Chad Jones, a guy that's four inches taller than him. So here is B.J. Johnson backing onto the field. Here's a quick throw. Mike Marone takes a huge hit as well. It's a gain of five for the tight end as he's going into his junior year hoping to have a big year. Here's a throw to the sideline. Looking for Brian B.J. Johnson and he cannot complete that pass. And now Colorado is right back out onto the field. Hoping to capitalize off of these turnovers is just not working today. So here is Colorado now, a little little uh, running back option right there. And it looks like that may have been a Wildcat. It looks like 36 was in that quarterback right there. And now they lose a yard, bringing it to a third and 11. Here's a quick throw to Thompson, but Smoke Wyatt, such a sure tackler in the first couple of games. And he leads our team in tackles so far. As now we are Back on offense, 10 to three game. Here's a quick throw, Flint steal. He has it for a gain of 12. Both teams just struggling to put together offensive drives. As here is Johnson. This is a, a draw play up the middle to Adrian Johnson. He gets a gain of eight. Only 25 yards carrying for him as well. So the, so the freshman checks into the game now. We get it to him. This is gonna be Calvin Smith who has the catch. It's gonna be about a gain of six. At least we're getting first downs here on this drive. Is now we're at about the 42. Can we come up with a big play? Play action fake. Johnson gets flushed out of the pocket and he goes down. It's a loss of 10 yards. Dominique Jones is in on the stop. So that brings us all the way back to the other side of the 50 at about the 48. BJ rolls to the right side. He's got space to run the football. He picks up 10 yards back. And now it's a third and 10. Looks like they have three men deep on this one, only rushing three as well. Johnson throws across the middle, and he's got Mookie Richardson at the 10, the five, and tripped up at about the three. Finally, a big play. 15 of 21 for B.J. Johnson. It wouldn't seem that way with how our offense has been playing, but now we're inside the five. Here's a handoff, Adrian Johnson, touchdown. He gets lit up right at the goal line, but he does get the ball across the plane. And it's now 17 to three. Is can our defense come up with another stop? Is here's Chad Jones back on offense. Here's a hand or a run up the middle, a quarterback design run. He slides down for only a gain of three. So second and seven now, the third quarter is winding down. A quick throw to the tight end, Marquise Harmon for the first down. So here we go at about the 150 mark, we have not even given up 100 yards passing at all. We haven't given up 100 yards rushing. Here is Jones up the middle. He takes it himself for a gain of nine yards. So close to the 50 now, an option. Perfect pitch to Lindsey. He has the first and a little bit more, but you can just see like the stats for Colorado, nine of 16 for 78 yards. They consider that one a pass, but here we are bullying our way into this lead. 17 to three, Robert Lindsey though takes the handoff to left side. This one's gonna be a first down as Colorado for the first time since the first quarter is in the scoring range. First and 10 handoff to start the fourth quarter. There is a stop in the backfield. Smoke Wyatt is all over that one. Loss of one. Second and 11, another draw play. Lindsey tries to find the space but cannot get around Alec Robinson stuffing the middle. And then Tyler Ashley comes up with the tackle in the backfield. That was actually Bo Rocky there. As now that picks up them at the 22. It's a third and 12. Jones cannot get rid of it. 
It's a loss of 12. Sion Okafor for the sack. Why did Chad Jones not throw that football? He had the middle screen open, and now it's a very long field goal. This one, wide to the left. It's still three points on the board for Colorado. They have just not been able to get this one going. Here's Marone, though, with the catch across the middle to start our next drive. It's a gain of 26. How about Mike Marone? Five catches for 75. He leads our team in catches so far this year with 12. Here is a draw play this time. Adrian Johnson spinning around and picks up a gain of 10. Now five and a half to go. We're going to start to kill some clock here as we have the two-score lead. Here's a quick throw, and that's Jackson. Jackson, and he gets it for a gain of seven. The clock continues to move now under center this time. Handoff, Adrian Johnson with another 10-yard gain. Now he's inside the 10. He's at least got 49 yards rushing. I can't remember the last time he's had over 50 yards, to be honest with you. Quick throw to the right side. Mike Marone with the catch. That one brings it to a third and goal. It's important to score right here. Put this game well out of reach. Here we go at the five. Play action fake. Johnson moves to the left side. He's got a man in the corner of the end zone. He will find him. It's Flint Steele, the freshman. Touchdown. 24 to three here. I'm not sure many people saw us playing this well on the road. We've scored 24 points. We've only given up three though. That's the most surprising part, our defense. But the face mask continue here. Another face mask penalty on this CTU defense. We gotta be more disciplined than that. So first and 10 now at the 48. Chad Jones under pressure, he goes down. Sion Okafor, his second sack of the game. And now that brings him back to the 40, actually the 38 yard line. Chad Jones throws this one deep into coverage. It's picked off by Bernard Benjamin. He had the force fumble earlier, now has an interception, two forced, interse or two forced turnovers by Bernard Benjamin. And that's how this one ends. A big time defensive struggle here today as Bernard Benjamin is player of the game with the force fumble and the interception. Our offense just couldn't get right today, but we scored 24, but it ended up being more than enough as our defense shut down Chad Jones and this Colorado offense as they go 0-2 to start this season. Two bad losses, to be honest. Losing to Colorado State and then another in-state school in Colorado Tech, that's definitely a bad look on the Colorado program. Mike Marone led us today 6 for 79. I mean, what a great couple of games for Mike Marone to start the season. Did, did not expect to see that at all. I thought Kentra Kraft was going to hit the ground running. He had zero catches in this game. Maybe that's why our offense did not get going because we didn't get Kraft the football. We did have two sacks today, though. Sian Okafor got after the quarterback twice, and then Bernard Benjamin had the only interception and then had the only forced fumble today. So a very solid victory from this CTU team. And now we head into conference play. We will face Houston first, as we are 2-0 to start the season. I'm not sure many people saw that coming, but Houston coming into this series is more of a passing team. We all know they like to pass the football around. They have, you know, a couple of the greatest college quarterbacks to ever play the game coming out of Houston as far as college football goes, like Case Keenum and guys like that. And looking at who our leaders are, I mean, we just got to depend on Mike Marone, Kentrell Kraft to get going. And I think we are in good shape. I think we can continue to win games. We will see what happens when we start playing ranked teams, but I'm I'm really excited about the potential that we have. And Houston comes into this game as not even having a top offense or a top defense. They've scored 35 points a game, but total offense, they're ranked number 100. So I'm not even sure how good they will be. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Big 12 play will start next episode. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I hope the rain don't come in November. Cause the summer went way too fast. I'm trying real hard to remember.